A mystery along a rural Montgomery County road. Tonight, investigators are still trying to figure out how a woman died. They say 22-year-old Katrina Craver was found late Friday night along Nest Egg Road near Jeffersonville. Today, Victor Puente talked to Craver's father first on Fox. Because, like I said, it's a small community. Somebody's going to say something. Or so Edward Craver hopes. He was in Lexington when his daughter, 22-year-old Katrina Craver, was struck and killed Friday night. So far, police haven't been able to piece together how she died. Intentional, unintentional, or just uh, uh, clearly an accident. Uh, and at this particular point, we have a theory on what took place. But they aren't saying if that theory will turn this death investigation into a criminal one. Craver says Katrina and her boyfriend were at his home when they got into an argument and he went to a friend's house. Then she went to the road. I guess she went up there either looking for which way he was going because you can see the whole levee. A short time later, a driver found her in the road. She was taken to the hospital, but police say the head trauma she had suffered was too much to survive. Somebody drove by and probably whacked her with a mirror or something. The sheriff and one of his detectives came back out to Nest Egg Road earlier today to re-examine the scene. He said at this point their investigation is still wide open. We went over different scenarios on the possibilities of what could have happened. Uh, we're going to look at the evidence, we're going to step back and say what caused the death of, of Katrina. Ed Craver says his family needs to know how it happened and needs to know who was involved. I still can't. I still can't believe she's gone. I still can't believe whoever hit her just left her there to, you know, die. In Montgomery County, Victor Puente, Fox 56, 10 o'clock news. Craver's family has set up an account on GoFundMe, which you can find by searching for Katrina Craver. They say that money will be used to help pay for her funeral.